Hey, what's up, everybody? Sam to Slam here. Welcome back to another Slammed Movie Review. It's been a weird day as it is. Uh, definitely check out my Slam Journals vlog where I talk about my whole day and yada yada. I'll be def definitely doing one later tonight about today. This day has been one hell of a fucking weird fuck. But other than that, you know, as this day is going ahead and on, is the movies. I, you know, I'm trying to get back into movies and stuff. But the thing is, though, I'm in this guilty pleasure of watching found footage flicks, found footage horror style. And most of these movies are shit, and shit. I think the, uh, the, the uh, I, haven't, I haven't the movies I've been doing since this new stint of reviews I've done, except the two or well, except Deep Red, which I did last year, but I uploaded it finally this year, is uh, it was a thumbs up. These other films like S X Tape, um, what else did I did? Uh, Candy Corn. It's not a found footage flick, but it's a horror film. Just been nuts apart. And we're here, and I looked at, I was on Tubi, and I was trying to look for a film that's, that it's a found footage flick. And I'm like, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a fucking guilty pleasure, like I said, I love them, even though they're, some of them are shit, I mean, some of these are a little budget. And then I see this film, 2012's Crow's Nest, that I've seen this film on the Tubi, I, I, I pass for all the time, and, you know, I'm gonna watch that for a minute, and I never do. Well, after watching it, an hour and what, an hour and 21 minutes or something like that. It's a 2012 film. And, and from watching this, it's just, it's just another one down the fucking drain. Another, just before I even get to it, another one and done. Some of these films are not even memorable. The only thing that, I mean, I, mean, I first watched these films, I hated them. Because I know that some they're all going to die at the end. And then I stopped watching them because I was like, ah, it's, it's the same fucking ending all the time. But then later on when I started to watch movies and start to and, and get my thoughts and put on my YouTube channel, I didn't really give a fuck because I'm the judge during executioner. I'm the fucking reviewer. You know, I'm, I can execute if this movie's going to be good or not. But I checked out this, this film here. It's basically with five friends. And, well, Justin Holloway, played by Victor Zindic Jr., He's been gifted a camera. His name's Justin, and he's some of these people have name, first names, but didn't know two names. Well, the guy did say his last name in the movie, but his girlfriend Brooke gifted gifted him a camera, and so he's all oh he's he's showing everybody about his camera, his documentary camera, yada yada, like it's up the ass. It's like you know I like doing my videos and record, but not like this idiot does. It's record every fucking single moment. And then, so, you, they're, it's basically a trip, and then he, he, they meet up with uh, Amanda, played by Chelsea Reist, her little sister, Christy Burke, oh, well, Danielle, played by Christy Burke, and Amanda's boyfriend, Kirk, played by Aslam Hussein, or Hussein, I don't know what the hell it is. The, the thing is, it's so boring. It's a very boring like, 21 minutes is when they find... They're supposed to go to some cottage to party it up. And just the dialogue, and it's just... I, I, I mean, this one's going to be a, a... I don't know, but just the dialogue, and just... No, the characters are so fucking annoying. I mean, you have the little sister, Danielle. I mean, she's... I mean, doesn't really want to go. Yeah, yeah, oh, let me get the fuck out of here. Yo, I want to get out of here, you know. She, man, and I, you know, I don't really care for her. Some of these care. I mean, they're so fucking annoying. Yeah, there's titty. Sh you get a titty shot with Brooke in the beginning of the film with uh, with Justin. You know, there, there's your titty shot for you. Um, but it's just, I mean, the dialogue. I mean, like I said, with with, uh, with Justin's character, the, but you, who, what you think is the main character? Well, he is. But then later on in the film, it's like 20, 21 minutes left. It's like okay. So, whoop you do, but yeah, but basically the the setting is that they're supposed to go to this this vacation cottage, and then they make a detour, and then they're they're in these fucking Appalachian mountains or somewhere, some fucking middle of the fucking nowhere, and it's like it, I don't understand. And then twenty one minutes they 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 go across this like old western, like like an old fairground like theme park western area. And they just, they go to for a piss and shit. Oh, yeah, also they see some dead, uh, dead ground, they see some, some 
roadkill or some human remains on the side of the road. But then they they go into this fucking damn like like I said like this western ghost town like theme park area, and then you see this random ass little girl who. Which I see her first, and then the Amanda look find uh, no brick or someone finds her, and then turns around, she's not there. So that's one thing, and there's nothing really going on, and the yada yada yada. And then all of a sudden, fucking this fucking damn uh, motor, this RV comes out of the play with this with this hockey like a siren, like a goalie, like a goalie horn, you know. And then it just it almost runs him out the road, and they're like Kirk's like. Well, because he's the one driving. I want their license plate. I'm going to go after him. So they go after him, and they fucking go... They, 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 then they fucking follow him back, and then they fucking lose him a little bit. And then fucking... Yeah, spoilers. Always. Spoilers, spoilers are always here, baby. But then fucking... They, they, they get away from the RV guy, the person. Then they fucking... And also, oh yeah, by the way, as I, w- I forgot, in the fucking scene where the, the, the ghost town... When Brooke finds a woman and uh, that that girl, girl and stuff, when they about the leak, Kirk and Justin are like, "Oh, we gotta go," and then they they said that they just talked to this guy about, "Oh, if you go this way, you'd be dead up here," and like, and I'm like, "Why the fuck was that not shown in this movie?" And that's like the first time I ever seen that in a movie where, oh, it's in the film where you see, oh, don't go that way. No, it's from another's perspective that we didn't see on the fucking film. So then, yada yada, they get run off, and then they try to fall back, and it goes back, and then they end up going the other way, and then fucking Danielle wants to go vomit. She bends over and shit, and all of a sudden, here comes this RV, like, runs her over or something, but there was blood, but then again, with her dead body, where's the fucking blood at? That was fucking cheesy as shit. She means while dying, her sister Amanda's fucking hysterically, then they don't want to stop. Oh, oh, please stop the car. Then they want to stop the car, when there's a fucking... Cannibalistic motherfuckers, and that's the reason why that's upset in the setting. No man, no man, no man, no am it cannibals or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know, but it's just it was a shit. And they don't, oh, we gotta leave her. And her sister's like, I ain't leaving my dead sister's body. There's no fucking cell phones because somebody, uh, most of them left their fucking phones, and then there's no fucking service. So they just go, they leave Amanda, like, oh, well, nothing's gonna happen, you know. Oh, we're in this blank spot. And the car fucking breaks down. And it's just... They fucking... Then they go up and yada yada. And then... They try to go up in the, the woods. Yada yada. And then fucking hear screams. And they it's Amanda back. And the, they, they got her in the RV or whatever. Meanwhile, before all that shit... They're up in the woods with Justin... With Kirk... With Justin, his girlfriend, Brooke. And then Kirk. And then Kirk was talking about... Ooh, fuck me. Like, talking to Brooke, like, they had a, some kind of fucking fling from last year or something. And then f- you find out Justin fucking abused the shit out of Brooke, and Brooke doesn't talk about it. And they brought it up, and then... I don't... F- I was like, okay. And then fucking Justin goes back, so he, they, they had a fight. He goes... Some of these camera work, like, he's he's there all, he's all of a sudden. Like, he goes back to the RV. He gets inside the RV. Because the cannibals were outside. He hid. He goes inside. Amanda is hooked up to the fucking thing. And she's all hysterical and shit. And he's trying to fucking get a song and help her out. But she can't. And he, meanwhile, he hears something in the back of the RV. He goes in the back of the RV. There's Dan, Danielle's dead cannibalist, dead, dead ass body. With the fucking girl who they saw. In the fucking fairground. Or where the ghost town or whatever. And then she fucking fights him off. And then fucking Justin. Well, you know what? Here the thing is. Justin did fucking kill the girl. The cannibalist girl, which, like, oh, hell, well, 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 good job for you, Justin. But you know that you're going to get your ass killed next. And they fucking gave him a good old job. He came going back up the fourth, and he got surrounded. I don't know how fucking fast these fat fuck. And this guy, in the, the he's got a fucking, like, diaper around his head. These fucking cannibalistic retards. They come around, and they, they just grab him, and they fucking, sh- he's the main character. They cut his fucking head off with a fucking machete. And it's like, and there's 21 minutes left. And it's like, and I'm like, oh, Kirk and, and fucking Brooke are going to find the camera. Which they did, and they've watched the tape over with. They see their friend, their, sister, their friend's sister's de- dead, her boyfriend. 
And then it's just Kirk and fucking damn uh, Brooke. And then the fucking cannibals get up to them, and then they end up find a way. Kirk's fucking bleeding profusely or whatever, but he's still hanging on. They find the the old SUV, the SUV they had. They try to get up the thing, and then they fucking, here comes Darby. Come around him and follow him again. And then somehow they get off the, they finally found a main fucking road. Oh, main road. And then, here comes the car. Smashes it right in the front, uh, like on the side window. Brooke right there. There's Kurt. Boom, they're dead because they had a little filming moment. Oh, I always liked you. I didn't ever say anything about it. I, I, you know, I don't care. No, there was no unlikable characters here. Uh, they were all fucking annoying. Even the fucking cannibals. I mean, they're just big fat fuck and fucking diaper head or diaper skin mask. Head. I did not care. And it's like I said, when I look at these movie the reviews I've done, it's gonna be another fucking thumbs down. Oh well, I'm sorry, but it's just it was not it was unlikable. It, the characters, I mean, I thought, oh, you know, the, the setting, the premises should be good, but no, mostly in a fucking van of where we fuck we going? Oh, we missed a detour, so we're gonna get hit in these little fucking woods and do a little ring around the posy against with these fucking RV cannibal retards. So I don't know, one and done for me. Definitely not rewatchable. I mean, watching SX tape, I know I give that a thumbs down, but that was a hell of a lot more entertaining than this shit. So, but I don't know. That's my thoughts about this film. Crow's Nest, more like a cunt's nest. So I'm STS, Sam is Slam. Definitely check out if you like these reviews or whatever. I do. Definitely check out my Slam movie reviews. Give me a subscribe, whatever. Go check out my old movie reviews, simple reviews. And then, if you like me talking and yada yada, give me some entertainment and give you a little journalistic life of my shoes I do maybe every other day or every day when I can definitely check out my playlist the slam journals because that's me just basically like here talking to camera but basically talking about throughout my day and how it's been because it's very therapeutic for me so but I'm STS y'all take care peace